Right, hello again. It is Masters Sunday. Could see a little bit of history being made tonight. That'd be good, wouldn't it? I'm not on the first tee. That's because I'm doing something slightly different. Oh, my playing partner's in a spot of bother. Right, what's the hardest four holes on your course? Stroke index one, two, three, and four. But you get shots on those. So you're not really under any pressure to get on the green in two. You're not even under any pressure to hit driver. What about holes 15, 16, 17, and 18? You don't get a shot there. Well, you might if you're a higher handicapper, but a lot of us don't get a shot there. So we've got to play those holes perfectly. Whereas the stroke holes, we don't have to be perfect to walk off with a net par. So I'm going to play one, two, three, and four, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Stroke indexes, not actual hole numbers. And we'll compare my net scores on the hard holes to my gross scores on the easy holes. Are they actually that easy? Now it's only two weeks after lockdown and as you've seen I've been thrown in double bogeys here there and everywhere so the score might not reflect my thinking but if it gets you thinking how you approach certain golf holes then job done. First hole we're going to play is the fifth stroke index one. Well, that's my bad shot of the moment. The snap hook. I found myself down the bank towards the sixth fairway, so just a little chip up with the five iron, just to keep it low. Going with a hybrid just to get to the front of the green, and that's just absolutely disgusting. Chip and run, eight iron. Just a little bit strong, so I've gone down the bank. Across the green, down the bank. Very simple chip back. And that's going to be a double. Oh dear. Not the way to start. The second easy hole, the eighth, par five. I don't know why it's stroke 17, because the area of the fairway that gives you a straight shot down the hole is quite small. Set up here to draw the three wood and yeah. I had no idea where it had gone till one of the guys told me it's over here in the left rough off that tree. That's an okay seven, uh, that's an okay five iron even. But it leaves me this long putt, which is um, it's quite difficult. There's quite a few borrows on this and I'm not too sure where it's gonna go. And yeah, that's just woeful. Well, a decent drive, not a long one, but decent. 
Just cut the hybrid down here into the green. This shouldn't be any bother at all. And that's a skinny one out to the right. But this is okay, I've got a clear run here. Very simple chip and run with a 9 iron. Just a tiny bit firm. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Wow, that just went off in my hand. That's an absolute mile past. And that's another double, oh dear. Well, that was a little tight to the corner, so all I can do is run this a bit. I haven't done too badly out of that. Flag is right on the front right. And I drag that left, and I'm pretty disgusted with that. And you'll see why when we get on the green. Yeah, this isn't very far away, but look where I'm aiming, for goodness sake. Well, that drive is an absolute peach. I'm really pleased with that one. Green's well above me, that's why I'm taking a 4 iron from 164. But it goes in like a bullet. At least I'm up there. Now I'm choosing to chip this so I can get a little bit of check on it. A little bit of check on the second or third bounce. And that just leaves me a perfect uphill tap in. And yet again, witness the hard pull to the left. Yeah, that isn't pretty. If I hadn't hit the oak tree, that was a lost ball. Now I can't get this on the green. It's a bit of a downhill lie. It's gonna come out low. I've done exactly what I wanted to do, was just get it out short right. Have a little pitch up the green. Too far away. Oh well, never missed putt. <laughs> 